you, Haley. We've also been hearing from Raider's daughter, who says her father was offered federal immunity for information. She says more investigative agencies want to know if their cold cases could be connected back to Raider. 12 News anchor Rachel Hackbarth here continue our Team 12 coverage. Jacob Lane, Raider's daughter Carrie Rawson says she's offered her assistance to investigators in the region, wondering if Raider could be connected to any of their cold cases. On social media platform X, she saw multiple law enforcement agencies. She says rather that multiple law enforcement agencies are seeking long sought answers to decades old missing persons cases and unsolved murders. She says this past spring federal transaction immunity was offered to Raider in the area of Kansas, Missouri and Oklahoma to give him a chance to confess to any other violent crimes he may have committed from roughly 1963 to 2005 when he was caught. Raider confessed in detail to 10 murders in the Wichita area spanning the 1970s through the 90s. He is serving multiple life sentences for those. Rawson mentioned specifically the two unsolved cases mentioned by Osage County investigators, Cynthia Don Kinney in Oklahoma and Shauna Garber in Missouri. Again, Raider has denied involvement in either of those cases. On X, Rawson says she cannot comment on any other cases or any direct assistance. You can read her full statement over on the 12 News app. We'll have more from what we're hearing from law enforcement ahead on 12 News at 5. And we have 12 News reporter Brandon Stitt in Oklahoma right now. You'll have his reports on 9 at 10.